Welcome again as always, and I am Walt. Today our guest is a teeny, tiny, itsy, bitsy, little RDA. It is the Vape Fly Pixie. Let's look at it. Starting with the inside of the box, we have the user's manual and we have a couple of pieces of the Vapefly Firebolt cotton as well as a couple coils, pre-made coils. I'm not going to use those, I have no idea what they're made out of. It doesn't say anything about that whatsoever. And inside of a bag we have a tri-tool, we have um, a little piece of plastic here and that's an insert okay for the airflow we have some o-rings we have some spare grub screws we have an allen wrench and we have a squonk pen as well so this can be used either as a squonker or a regular dripping RDA so the atomizer itself this is a little guy, the Pixie. Starting at the top, we have a 510 compatible drip tip. And that, at least for right now, fits in there pretty doggone tight. There's an extra lip on here, that stays. That does not come off. If you look around the edges, you've got a single hole on one side. And then on the other side, we have a Cyclops. And right now I've got an insert in there in that Cyclops that has three small holes Okay, on the insert itself. The top cap pops off, somewhat domed on the inside. Pretty doggone nice machining on this. The whole thing is very light. It's not, um, it's not made out of real heavy metal, that's for sure. It's, it's fairly thin. On the inside you can see our two connectors. The next barrel I may have trouble getting off. There we go. Pretty tight especially when it's new. After you get some e-juice on it it'll loosen up a little bit. Okay and you can see that it's squared off here across the side and it's probably can't see it in this light but on the bottom of that square piece and on the bottom of the other side there are two little notches okay two little tabs and those two little tabs fit into these two little notches one on each side of course the square block goes opposite the two post connectors and those have to line up once those are lined up this barrel will not move at all it's done the bottom of the Addy you can see here this screw holds in screw on the side holds in the negative post the screw in the center which is the positive post okay and right now is a um, is for dripping it's a solid pin okay that that holds in the positive post so put this down for a second I really like to squonk with these guys so I'm going to go ahead and put in the squonk pin We'll start out with a tri tool and a flat bit, a flat bit screwdriver end, and we'll go ahead and we'll pull that out of there. You can see already a positive post is coming loose there. Oh, there we go. Get it lined up. Okay, it's taking a little more time than I'm hoping it would. Okay, there we go. We got it out. And you can see that comes right on off of there. You can see the uh, insulator. Okay, underneath. So, we'll put that back in place for the moment. I'm going to hold those in place with my finger. I know it's going to make it a little hard to see, but that'll make it line up a little bit better. Put in the squonk pin. And that really isn't the right tool. OK, 
Okay, grab a flathead screwdriver and tighten that right on down. We're ready for clunk. Okay, next up we'll attempt to build. And here's where the Allen wrench key comes into place. That is for the grub screws. So we'll drop that in there, loosen up the two grub screws just a little bit. It'll be really hard to show too much on this build. As small as this Addy is, I think all you're going to see are my hands pretty much all the way through it, unfortunately, but we'll do what we can. So we'll spin this around. I put together a coil already. And so you can see that there, there are two holes, one on each of the posts. We'll slide these right on through, leaving it on the um, leaving it on the coiling rod. And the reason I'm leaving it on the coiling rod is because, and I'm going to pull the coiling rod out of the handle just real quick. To get this lined up correctly, you've got two little grooves right there. Just drop that right into place. Hold that down into place. Tighten up those grub screws. One. Ah. Uh, two grub screw. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. That's it. Pull your rod out. Everything is in per is in the perfect place. Come around to the back. Flat of the cutters right up against that post, getting as close as possibly can. Snip, snip, takes care of that. So let's see what we can do about wicking this little guy. We'll get a piece of the fire bolt cotton out here. We're really kind of enjoying this stuff. It's real easy to work with for sure. Let's take that and shoelace in and push it through and I'll go fairly easy and pull that cotton right down through there pretty doggone nice I'm gonna cut this cotton just what I think is long enough for it to hang down to the the bottom of that juice well and with this cotton I'm not even gonna fluff it out because it's quite fluffy quite frankly so take the ends drop them right down in there like this very very nice so we'll take a little bit of juice prime this guy up which again is a joy with this cotton because it just really does soak this stuff up Up real nice. I'm going to put a little bit extra just down into the bottom of the juice well so it can con continue to soak up through. And on the inner cap itself, to be honest, I don't find a lot of difference between any of these um, inserts. So, what I have been doing and very much enjoying is just taking both inserts out giving it as much airflow as it can possibly get so lining that up on here kinda push down take a look and see how close it is you can see on the edges it's not all the way down yet 
when it goes all the way down you'll feel it it'll snap and it just did okay great so there we are that's in place first time you put this on I'm going to use the cyclops side and not the little pinhole side so I'm going to kind of line that right up push that into place double check my resistance still looking good and we're ready to go we can vape on this thing alright so what have we here one tiny itty bitty little RDA the packs a real nice little vape the flavor is very good again I don't know if I can call it the very best I've ever had but it's right up there it is a real good flavor I especially like this for squonking uh, the way that the uh, top of the squonk pin is configured it spreads the liquid out in between the two wells real nicely you can use it for dripping I suppose I'm not much of a dripper so I haven't really dripped with it I suppose you could drip straight into the thing and it would be okay and if you use that little lip that's around the edge there and get your thumbnail under it it isn't too difficult at all to peel that off of there pop that off of there and paint that coil if you'd like to do that that's just a nice vape that's just a real nice vape it is tiny with between all the different air flows with the single hole you can get right on the cusp of between a mouth to lung and a direct to lung it's pretty doggone restrictive no doubt about it and then you can get it pretty full if you use a cyclops on the side although with a 510 you're not going to get a huge open draw out of this thing it's always going to be just a little bit restrictive where this thing shines is all your single battery squonkers out there because you can get enough resistance into a single coil to where you get some battery life out of it and it'll produce real nice as you can see this is uh, sitting on a top of a, a Therion um, seaboard so I've got it on replay and again I mean this is where this thing really really shines I've tuned it up I've got exactly the vape I want on there and I get it every time get quite a few vapes out of a squonk um, never had it really flood on me um, but it's something that you can flood it's possible you've kind of got to get used to it so there you have it real real nice little RDA um, real com I, I, this is commendable I, en I enjoy this one so uh, with that thank you they fly oh it is 22 millimeter so that's that's actually another nice little plus there are some um, mods out there that don't want to accept very large Addies, and this is a real nice little small one for those particular mods. So, with that, thank you, Vape Fi. Thank you, everybody, for taking a peek. And um, I'm going to go ahead and continue enjoying this one for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs>